Welcome everyone! Welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon, and I'll be previewing a pre-alpha build of a game called Jason and the Dead. So it, it, it kind of reminds me of Shaun of the Dead, but um, it's sort of the same somewhat slightly tongue-in-cheek game, I guess, in a way, with a very distinct art style. Uh, let, let me just start the game. It is from Second Studio. I did that because I couldn't remember. Here's a little intro. Ooh. <laughs> yes, zombie survival. Wait a second. <laughs> Get to the door. Get to the chopper! I haven't actually noticed that before, but... Whoa. We need to find a way out. But he actually smashed that zombie with a sausage, because if I open my inventory, there is a sausage, sausage there. It's my sausage. Good all-around tool. I just beat him to death with it. You really think he wants more? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yes. This game is a... Zombie survival game. Well, sort of survival game. I'm not sure if it's gonna go in that way. It certainly has a few RPG elements, like the inventory, of course, which I only have the sausage right now, but... Sausage, my friend. <laughs> I know I have a twisted mind, but that is just disgusting. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's got a very distinct art style, as you can see. And I quite dig it. I quite like the art style. Now remember, as I said, even though you can see that in the bottom right, it's a pre-alpha version, so, you know, it's not even an alpha. It's very, very extremely early, and everything you see will probably change in some way or another. You know, all these... Taking you so long? Sorry, I'm kind of doing I'm a trying, video. All, right. uh, all the animations will obviously be polished up, and so on and so forth. But I already like the art style, and look at the zombies there. Maybe you can use this. Thank you very much. I did that to him. I did that to him. I wonder if he had a family. Um, I quite like... When is a zombie actually dead? I quite like the main character's voice actor. It's not bad. Um, I really quite dislike the, the Zoe's uh, voice actress. She's mm, subpar, shall it's we say. Locked. Can I use this? Or... I don't think that's gonna work. No. So anyway, if you, you want to if you want to use an item, you have to stand when it's highlighted. Duct tape, the miraculous sticky problem solver. And then uh, use it from the inventory. So it won't just magically open itself. Now the game developers. I don't know how much longer I can hold this door. Don't worry about it. Hang in there. I'm trying my best. All right, so let's use the lockpick. Um, yeah, that did the trick. What would you do without me? I don't know. I'd probably be sitting in a bar drinking instead of this mess. Huh. Yeah, right. You'd probably drink yourself to sleep. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Not the right time for cleaning. Oh, I wanted to clean. Uh, yeah, the developers suggest uh, using a controller, and obviously, you know, everything is very sort of controller-oriented. I'm kind of hoping they will change that later on for the PC release. Um, I don't really mind this as long as there's only a few, you know, items for the inventory. Uh, but there you go. So this is a game about survival, you know, zombie apocalypse and all that. I think it happens in the sort of slight future or maybe alternate sort of present? I don't know. I think it's sort of slight futuristic setting. Looks like this <clears> opens <throat> the door. Hmm. So I can use the key card here. Hey Zoe, the door is open. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. There we go. Hey Zoe, do you hear that? Right. You go first. I'll stay here and make sure no one comes through. But there's also uh, there's also puzzles in this game. Sort of environmental puzzles. There's this a This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. <laughs> so we can reload the weapon. I haven't really found a way to reload it myself. Uh, yeah. Easy peasy. Also, as you can see, the uh, the animation for aiming is a little bit off because I'm not really aiming uh, that way. <laughs> but that's okay. It's it's a pre-alpha. And the game <laughs> Hey Zoe, look. <laughs> I'm carrying a zombie. Ew, put that thing down. 
No way. I think we could use them for something. What is it? Gonna do? This isn't good. How do I? Oh, there we go. Ow. That was stupid. Zoe, looks like this area is cleared. Great job. Now, if we could just find a way to get through this room, we should reach the extraction room soon enough. Hey, look at that air vent. That could be our exit. But how do we reach it? So maybe with something to stand on. I've obviously played through this uh, once already because I wanted to see how it's like. And yes, you need to pile up corpses. I thought you would be able to pile up these boxes. Nope. But looks heavy. They're too heavy. It says that the facility is contaminated and all doors are locked. Remember how I said it's slight future? Sort of. They're still using these old timey computers. It's not the right time for video games. <laughs> looks like the green screen of death. Also, that that disc sounds horrible. It says that the facility is contaminated and all doors are locked. But I really like the animation. Uh, oh yeah. You can never have enough first aid lessons. I wonder what happens if you don't take that with you. I do not want to lie down on that. They must have been doing some sort of crazy experiment. You might have noticed that um, the art style is sort of similar, at least the textures and such, are sort of similar to um, the Walking Dead from Telltale series. It's got that comic look. And I don't mind that, even though... Looks like some sort of hibernation chamber. You know, most of the time, I'm not really a fan of these types of, um, you know, stylized graphics, but I, I really dig this one. Um, this game is now a, at a sort of Kickstarter uh, time. It's not really on Kickstarter, it's on fig.com, I believe. I'll give you the link down below, so now we can and use this. Jump. Here we go. Right behind you, big guy. Man, the lack of exit doors and fire escapes in this facility strikes me. After this, I should report them to the local fire department. <laughs> they also said that this, uh... Go straight. I'm gonna go left. That way we can find the extraction room faster. Right on. See you there. Ugh. I think the worst part is over. But yeah, uh, th this is not spoiling the final game because they said that this actually won't be in the final game, apparently. Or maybe it will be, but, you know, not in any important way. This is just a demo for... Whoa! Oh, shit. That was I loud. Bad feeling about this. I got a shotgun. I gotta get out of here Morning. fast. Security. Yeah, shotgun. Shotgun. Come on. I can't reload myself. I don't know if it's possible, but you have to deplete the weapon and then he reloads it. There's a lot of them. That was cool. The animations are sort of um, still, in a way, fairly basic, but. Whoa, well, where's my. What's up there? I've never been up there. Oh, nothing. Well, let's close the doors. Bye. <laughs> they can't get to me anymore. That was tough. Glad that's over. I just hope Zoe's all right. Hey, big guy. What took you so long? What? How did you get here? I found a way through the ventilation system. <laughs> How about you? Well, I ran into a group of hungry lab workers. I gave them the good old bullet sandwich. Mmm, bullet sandwich. So, this is it, huh? Yep. Now we just need to figure out how to activate it. Mm, it doesn't seem to work. Alright, so this is one of those puzzles. Hmm. So we've got these things, and I guess we just have to turn them all on. There we go. Can't turn that on. Even though there's a couple of twitching legs over here, are they still twitching on him? No. <laughs> there. But it's only half a body. Now, I've looked around, you know, previously for the other half, and then I remembered, wait a second, will this actually work? Now he looks more complete. <laughs> yes, it will. And of course. And duct tape saves the day once again. Duct tape. There. Fixed it. There we go. Not really sure how that works. But there you go. 
Oh yeah, wait a second, this one was already on. There we go. So, you know, a minor puzzle here, but this is how the game will be. You know, kill zombies, find stuff, talk to Zoe, um, and solve puzzles. Beep. Look at that thing. We made it, Zoe. We have the cure. And there's the cure. And that was the demo, pretty much. The pre-alpha demo. I hope the game is not going to throw me out of it. No. So, yeah, I really, really like that. Uh, it's currently, as I said, being funded. It's got 22 days, I believe, left uh, from the moment I'm recording this video. And I really like it. It looks really cool. I uh, like where they're going with it. I like the art style. Voice acting will need a little bit of polishing. Well, of course, other things will as well. But as I said, pre-alpha, so very, very early. Hope you've enjoyed this preview um, from Second Studio Games. And, uh, well, it was a preview from me, Metal Canyon. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And the link is down below if you want to support this rather cool game, which I'm actually looking forward to. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.